Welcome to Sarasota History Alive. I'm Lee Gaines, your host, and this week we decided to visit a familiar haunt to many Sarasotans, historic Rosemary Cemetery. It's located on Central Avenue, just north of downtown. Rosemary is an aromatic herb that denotes remembrance and is a fitting name for the city's first cemetery. Originally platted in 1886 by the Florida Mortgage and Investment Company, it was Sarasota's first mayor, John Hamilton Gillespie, who donated the cemetery in 1903 to the newly incorporated town of Sarasota. He had only one stipulation, that it be kept in a suitable and decent manner. No small task considering wayward cattle and pigs kept damaging the burial sites. Some families fenced in their individual plots to keep out the unwanted visitors. The Woman's Club and other concerned citizens came to the rescue and planted trees and flowers and fenced off the entire area. Bertha Palmer donated the stone pergola that still resides at its center. Most grave sites are simple concrete slabs while others were built up of brick. As seen in many coastal communities, seashells were often used as decorations for the final resting place of loved ones. The first person to be buried here was Tom Booth. He was one of the original colonists who arrived from Scotland that brutal winter of 1885, only to pass away two years later. Alex Browning, a fellow colonist, remembered him as a hard-working man who literally worked himself to death. 1887 was a hard year for others as well, including Mrs. Green and her children, who all died at the hands of her husband. Felix Bernard, our first professional photographer, died in 1903. His photos give us a valuable glimpse of turn-of-the-century Sarasota. Owen Burns, a major developer and business partner to John Ringling, is buried here along with his wife, Bernona, that he named his hotel after. Upon his death in 1923, John Hamilton Gillespie returned to Rosemary Cemetery, later joined by his beautiful wife, Blanche, in 1957. Harry Heigl, three-time mayor of Sarasota and developer of Northern Siesta Key, was laid to rest here in 1921 after being viciously murdered. The case was never solved. After all, the only witness lies here although suspicions ran high that arch rival Rube Allen was the culprit. There is also a marker for Carrie Abbey, Sarasota's first postmistress. Her husband's cousin, Charles Abbey, was shot to death in 1884, just two days after Christmas. It was the Sarasota Vigilance Committee that done the evil deed, which stemmed from jealousy of Abbey's wealth and political power. Abbey established our first post office and a pineapple plantation with William Whitaker. Before Sarasota grew so expansively, the original newspaper, the Sarasota Times, described the cemetery as being located on a high location overlooking the bay. The spray from the water is constantly wafting in loving benediction over the dust of the departed ones. Next time you're downtown, stop by this jewel of history and you'll discover it lives up to its name as a place of remembrance. And speaking of remembering, be sure to join us each week as we continue to explore our past and keep Sarasota history alive.